Hi everyone, it's been a while since we've posted a video update, but I thought it was a very opportune time to update you on what's happening at your club. Um, over behind my shoulder you'll see that the uh, marquee is up, uh, the new catering option is up and running for nearly four weeks now, and judging by the feedback that we're getting, uh, you really like it, which is fantastic. Um, so for those of you who haven't had an opportunity to come down yet, I'd encourage you to come down, talk to Amy, uh, the new food and beverage supervisor, and uh, just enjoy this fantastic offering we have on days like this. Hopefully the weather will continue as it is. So an awful lot happening in your club. Uh, racing is back, which is magnificent to see both on the junior side and the keelboat side. And we've had a number of successes uh, in recent weeks, um, nearly, nearly too many to mention now, which is fantastic, but we had a great opportunity a couple of weeks ago to welcome New Largo and her crew back, having uh, won the, uh, the Dunleary to Dingle race in such great style. And of course, members accomplished uh, great results at the Sovereigns Week, and well done to our friends and colleagues down in the Kinsale Yacht Club for doing such a wonderful job. A lot of things going on in the club here over the coming weeks and months and just this weekend we have the postponed 29er national championships uh, which we would have been running last year as part of our tricentenary celebrations so that's a, a big weekend this weekend which will be great to see and we look forward to seeing everyone here then we move into the uh, Cork 300 uh, cruising company down west um, Mike assures me there is plenty of space for people who maybe would like to join at this stage. So if you are interested, uh, certainly the weather forecast is, is looking good. I would sort of say, you know, get in touch with Mike and we'd love to see you there. Uh, we're going to cruise from, uh, we'll depart here on the 10th of July, heading for Kinsale with the plan to be in Bantry for the following Saturday, the 17th of, of July. Then loads of other events that are all up on the website, all can be got via your calendar. If you remember way back when in February, we sent you the calendar. Um, so opportunity to make sure that that's updated, it's all online. So encourage everyone to do that. But I have, I have one main ask uh, for today that I really want people to, to do for me. On the 28th of August, we're gonna have our at-home uh, at regatta. As you know, we always hold it the last weekend in August. But we didn't get a chance to do our tricentenary at home last year. So this is our main event. Um, we will be doing the parade of sail on the morning of Saturday the 28th of uh, August um, over in Cove Roads at the Naval Base. Um, on Taoiseach has very kindly confirmed that he's coming. Um, Minister for Foreign Affairs and, and uh, Defence will be there, Simon Coveney, and uh, our sponsors and partners who've been so good and supportive to this club uh, over the last 18 months will be there in attendance too. So basically, I have an ask. My ask is, if you have a boat, if it floats, get it in the water and make sure that it's there on the 28th. Um, a week later, in September, we'll be helping the Irish Naval Service celebrate their 75th anniversary, which is a, a major achievement. And we'll be um, pooling our resources with other clubs around the harbour to help them with, or to help the Irish Naval Service uh, celebrate their, their big event. So more details on that. So for now, I would just sort of say, come down, enjoy the club, see the great food offering enjoy it taste it it's the food feedback has been superb and uh, enjoy being getting out on the water and this magnificent harbor i have behind my my shoulder um, it's just wonderful today to see the the club buzzing uh, late afternoon um, as everyone's getting ready to go racing so look forward to seeing you all over the coming weeks thanks a lot